Hello everyone, this is Viewful Yoshi, and welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, um, well, we found out that Alter Ego is missing, and now something's going on in the third floor. Okay. Yeah, you go get the others, Hina. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Rec room. What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Uh, I'm not so sure I like that idea, but... The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... C Celeste? Oh my gosh. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Alright, um, what happened? Okay, yeah, what... S I was stupid. I got attacked. But yeah, by who? What? I'm not... I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Well, uh, okay. It's not very specific. Strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. Um, hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, here it is. Um. Okay. What is this? Uh, some kind of wooden hammer or something? So, sorry, let me try that again. It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. And I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. Whoa, what? I don't know who's talking. Oh, okay. Uh, Hina and Sakura. What? Yeah. What on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over, but I knew it was only about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understood now that it was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. <sighs> I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him after him in secret. Wait... You can't even tell who it was? As I followed... Excuse me. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... That's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So it happened just after 7 o'clock? That was about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I beg and grovel for my life. Wait, what? He attacked you, but he spared you because you begged? You did? As for me, I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. Well, okay. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Okay. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for a suspicious individual. If we don't hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Well, wait, what? That was a weird transition. When I looked into the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. Wait, what? Hifumi? He's in danger? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. Oh my gosh. Well, do we have any clues then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular... Oh, sorry, this <laughs> Hina talking. Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, I will probably be better... It'll probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is a Fumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. Oh yeah, you did take it, didn't you? Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. So this was when you were peeking through the door? 
I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. What a strange comment in mind. Oh, sorry, with that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Uh huh. Yeah. What? Oh, well, you are definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Their face is totally covered, excuse me. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes. So this weird robot guy dragged Ifumi away, and I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Ifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad. We have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. Where, uh, where they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I uh, didn't have time to look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! And I'm more- I think Kyoko can herself, honestly. As soon as the word- Especially since he would be dragging Fumi around. But anyway, as soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed his- to Rush out of the room and down to the second floor. Poor Fumi. Hey, you two. Wait, who's talking what? now? Oh, Togami? What's going on? What's all the fuss? What, 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 what? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it, does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You gotta be nope, nope, sure haven't. Are they? I'm oh, sorry. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Really? Were you worried about us, Togami? Uh -huh. We came here together. No, you're just stalking me. I anyway, can you guys help us look for him? What? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Hmm. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. I don't imagine Tog I can't believe to Togami is the one for cheap thrills, but anyway. Hifumi! Kyoko! If, can you, if you can hear me, say something! Hmm. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm. Oh. Did did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library. Let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library, uh, it, Hifumi. Mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, it hurts. It hurts. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Uh, are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see y you're still alive. Mm -hmm. It's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? Mm -hmm. That guy hit me. What guy? The robo... Mm -hmm. Just... This? What? Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. Um, maybe you know him from anime or something? What did you say? What are you talking about? Um, okay, let's talk to Hifumi first, then we can check out this hammer that's on the ground. Mm -hmm. That that guy was Robo Justice. Mm -hmm. This Robo Justice you're referring to is this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Isn't a number, uh. Yes, yeah, another hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is... Justice Hammer 2? 
On top of that, this one actually has a little bigger than the first one. Which might explain why Fumi's a bit more beat up. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. Well... I'm sorry. A hammer that? A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Well, all things considered, you got, you got lucky. Protein heal, helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? I f what the f <laughs> It's him? <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get interesting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? What the hell? What? That was random. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let's not concern ourselves with him. <laughs> Sorry. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved to Fumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we can take care of his injuries. This is the first time we've been in here. How you feeling, Fumi? You want me to take a look at you? I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I think we should at least put a bandage on it, but... I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then, Perhaps you should rest here a while. I... He, yeah. Good, good idea. Well, then. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mi mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Before another victim appears, the justice hammer seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. What a strange way to do things, though. So, in other words... If there is a justice hammer three, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. Oh! Hmm. If you got hit, if you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Tell us what happened to you, Ifumi. Um, mm. Well, I woke up this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Mm. This is what I witnessed around 7 this morning. Wow. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Mm. At around 7.30 in other words. We would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So all we have so we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Cause I was peeking. Ooh, anyway, so that means Byakuya and Toko were together at the, at the time, being they also have alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are... The only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's right. Oh, sorry. That's it. Right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh, yeah. She was supposed to be checking the second floor, but... I didn't see her up there at all. Ugh. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's she might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on! Gyoka was with us in a dining hall when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words, I'm referring to what she, we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible! What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Mm, that doesn't necessarily make her a spy. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding this the suspicious individual. Okay! Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims! They might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. Mm -hmm. 
she, she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't, don't worry about me. I'll catch up to you, with you guys after I rest up for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Huh. Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. What to do? What so, to do? what are we going to do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our, own... Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of. Even here. What? What? W what's wrong? Oh, I, I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor then? Bastard! I won't you won't get away from me. Well, we all shot towards the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. Let's blip and corner him. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Okay, but what should we yell? Anything, it doesn't matter. Then is ha okay? Ha or dia or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> Doha. I never heard such a reaction. So last you're kind of calm all of a sudden. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're going to decommission ya. We, we spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Um... Shut the locker room, maybe? I don't know, um... Let's see, no one in here, uh... Well, there's only so many guys with us at the current moment in time, so I might as well try going through here. Um... And this leads to the pool, right? Okay, let's see here, yep. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything here. Um, nope. Yeah, leave the pool. Uh, and I guess that will go again? Huh, okay, nothing. Pretty calm. And I guess just leave the area. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, I guess that was Celeste. <laughs> that strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprint up to the third floor. Everyone. Over, over here, everyone. Everyone heard the scream had come running. Just a second. C Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Oh, I saw him. That strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down to the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Uh, uh. What is it now? Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, whoa, it's really true. But it doesn't matter right now. What the? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Ifumi? He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What, what about the suspect? We've, we've... We've gone to all of this trouble to capture him, right? Mm. This is why we don't split into two groups. Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear now. Mm. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Shut up, Togami. So then. Very well then. Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I'll lead to capture this suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Byakua. So then. We'll handle it. We'll handle it. Just take care just take care of Ifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina ran downstairs to the first floor. Just a second! Nurse's nurse office, let's go! Okay. Oh come on, Ifumi, please be okay. We stormed to the nurse's, nurse's office, and what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. What? No. Hifumi? Oh my god. 
God, no, Hifumi, I mean, I... <laughs> Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all this red was... Technically pink, but... Uh, Hifumi? Damn it. I know I yelled at you, man, but... No, I didn't want it to end like this. It looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. It, wait, wait, are we sure he's dead? No Check his pulse, maybe. I don't know. He's not really dead, is he? That's a lot of blood, isn't it? it? Looks like he got hit straight on the head. Oh gosh. Wait, oh no. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! No. Not Hifumi! But I... That was the by discovery announcement. No. <laughs> but... With... When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It means Hifumi, someone killed him. One of us. No, I... One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the two surprise attacks. Justice Hammer 3, I presume. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. It's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that, and you are finished. Then, the killer... There can be no doubt. The suspicious individual, going by what Hifumi called him, the culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But, w w wait, you saw, we saw him on the third floor, right? Running back in the hall. How did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying that, th sorry, you're not saying they like teleported or something, right? You okay with you? We can figure out that part later. We can figure out that part later. Right now we have to tell the others. You're, you're right. So then. then shall we go? Hina. <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Uh huh? Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry. I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kinda... Mm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Uh, okay then. I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. I'll leave it to you then. Okay. I'll, I'll be back soon. I'm trying to sound confident and upbeat, but... I still had to stop trembling from what I'd just been through. That fool me, I know I gave you a lot of crap, but... Damn it! Everyone else was on the third floor, I have to hurry! This is where everyone was chasing after su the suspicious ind individual. Where was he headed? Uh, okay. That was rather intense scream for someone like you. Okay, we already said this. Saw this, excuse me. He ran off when he screamed, further down to the hallway. Okay. Going further down the hallway. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, further into the hallway, um, so it's either the art room or the science lab then, right? Uh, don't, I don't see anything, uh, I don't know, maybe I should have looked around a bit more, um, but, well, ways, well, a lot of hammers missing. Well, you can probably guess where all the all, where all, where they all went. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. Clearly not this room. Uh. Da, 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 that would mean that they're in the science lab. Oh gosh, my stomach feels sick. And here we go. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here, but still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's- I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. 
this presence. It's coming from over there, in the back. Can Makoto sense people? <laughs> that was weird, okay. I leapt through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there f to greet me. Well, how can it be even worse than a dead body? Oh, what? Taka? There in a pool of his own blood was Taka. Dead. Chapter 3, A Next Generation Legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. School life turns to deadly life. Fumi's body, discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body, discovered in the equipment room. I... I... I was witness to two nightmares, one after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. The true nightmare is this reality. The true nightmare is this reality. The reality I have to face every day, but still. What? Why is this happening? Man. And poor Toko, she probably passed out, eh? T Toko? Don't tell me. Toko? T Toko too? Hm. Relax, she just passed out when she saw the blood. Oh, yeah. Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like he said, I should just leave her alone. Well... Justice Hammer 4? Another hammer. Now it's Justice Hammer 4. It's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However, but why is it Justice Hammer 4? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1, then Hifumi was attacked or was hit with Justice Hammer 2. But this time it was just Hammer 4. What happened to 3? Oh, they don't know about Hifumi. What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead too. What? What? Hey! Hifumi's been killed? Y yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Yeah. Of course, come on! But, why would they kill two people? So Sakura, Byaku, and I rush out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Oh. Uh, Celeste? Aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay. Something has... come up. Hm. Yeah, I heard. The Fumi is dead, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. What, the hammer? What are you talking about? <laughs> Hifumi's b What? Excuse me? Hifumi's body has disappeared? What? What, did you what are you say? talking about? It disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Celeste. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey. Everyone, back to the nurse's office! I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office, completely out of breath. Oh, oh my gosh. I couldn't believe my eyes. Fumi's body was there just a few minutes ago. It just disappeared? Hina? What happened? Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. We were only gone for like a minute, and then, when we got back... Mm -hmm. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. Oh, well, okay guys, let's calm down here. We're going to die, just like those guys did. What, what did you I say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just... 
disappear. And no offense to Fumi, but it's a pretty large body Why? too. First, there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken? This is... unnatural. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean two murders? Yeah. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It, it, it can't be! Taka too? It can't be. It, it can't be! No! Hina. Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're, they're gonna kill all of us. <laughs> then who might be the next... Who would... Who might the next target be? Toko? Uh huh? What? I completely forgot! She's still unconscious in the equipment room! Yeah. You left her at the scene of the crime? <laughs> we didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to get wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious. Yeah. Wait. So you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. He'd be better off without her. Bastard! You bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting! Right now we need to hurry back! Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Yeah. Byakua, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> huh. We shot out of the nurse's office and bowled up to the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Okay, well... She's still safe. But... Wait. Right away I noticed. There was something very different here. Um... Well, a few different things, actually. It was gone. Taka's body should have been right here disappeared and those this look like wheel tracks this can't be happening uh, are we hallucinating all this or something no it's not a hallucination I know I saw it before and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before huh? what are are you saying Taka disappeared too stop talking stop saying disappeared if you didn't just it didn't just vanish to thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But for what purpose? Yeah, why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We we gotta catch, hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Hmm. Think about it. Wh who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Really? Uh, um... Hmm. When Hafumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you all came here as a group in the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this was Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko is an alibi for when Celeste and Fumi were attacked. There's no reason she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love. Uh, that's not it at all. That's fine. Well, anyway, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than Hiro. Hmm. Which further means, there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can kill, only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule's in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... Shing! Uh, Mincia. Mincia without a second thought. Mincia, grind ya, turn ya into paste. By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crab? Uh, hmm. well, thanks for that. Uh, indeed. Let's see. 
Since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakua? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. Hmm. You know, I actually do kind of wonder about that, if Byakua did that on purpose, or he actually did care about Toko. The two missing bodies. Two people that have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But... Is he really the killer? Hmm. And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where does she go? What? Hey Makoto, what's the matter? Uh, no, it's nothing. I'm just doing an inner monologue. Hmm. Whatever. We need to find those bodies or our little narrative here can't move forward. Wow, straight to the point. So then... Very well, then let's split up and begin searching. But... 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 <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I mean... I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... You know. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Uh, okay. Thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Byakoe left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. And with that, guys, we'll leave it off for here. Next exciting episode of Danganronpa, we'll begin our search for the missing bodies. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out, y'all.